I grip my stick in different ways depending on the activity or the application I'm going for. FMA is a very diverse art in that there are so many style systems and approaches, so I often find myself doing different things. And because I try different things, I end up trying different methods. So a question I often get asked is how exactly I go about gripping my stick. And it even gets pointed out in some of my videos that my grip tends to change from video to video. So in this video, I'll be talking about the different grips that I use in the different contexts that I find myself in. One of the ways I grip the stick is by holding it at the very end. This gives me more reach and is really useful for sparring formats where Largo Mano maneuvers and strategies excel. For example, in a point sparring competition where the first player to land a strike wins the point, the smallest amount of distance you can add to your movements goes a really long way. This is also typically my default grip for any other sparring format where I can make use of long distance strategies. If I don't expect to engage in quarter range too much, I'll hold it here. Next, I also make use of a grip position where I hold the stick about a fist away from the bottom. Compared to the previous grip, I lose a little bit of reach, but I do gain more ease of control of the stick. It makes it easier for me to manipulate the weapon. This is useful for complicated maneuvers as well as throwing multiple half strikes and wrist strikes. A sparring format where I find myself using this is the WECAF style sparring competitions where a known winning strategy is to visually throw more strikes. Thus, these matches, at least from my experience, tend to deal more with close quarter combat in the corto and media range. This is my default grip for these types of sparring competitions. And lastly, I may also give just a little bit more room for my exhibition or anyo maneuvers. The extra room gives me better control of the weapon and it makes it easier to execute twirling motions that I enjoy incorporating into my performances. In my opinion, this does start to lose some combative advantages, but I really only use this for aesthetic reasons. Now, I don't necessarily adhere to these applications as rules per se. It's more of a general way of how I go about using all these different ways of or positions to grip the stick. I might use one grip for a completely different reason or change my grip in the middle of a sparring match or in the middle of a performance. It really depends on what I'm going for for that specific moment. And it goes without saying that I treat my training as a sport, as a leisure activity. And so that's why I'm comfortable changing the way I practice, changing the way I execute my movements, depending on the different activities that I try to do or depending on the different activities that I find myself in. I hope you found this video useful, comment below your thoughts, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.